shovel. Get ready to dig in. Hang, Hang on, on for the loop. loop. Four, three, two, one. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. I'm Ricky. I'm Christina. And I'm Tanya. Wait, Tanya, if you're oh. here, does that mean? It does. We're going head to head to find out who is the dominator of the dunes, the gladiator of the grit, the super scooper. It's time for the Loop Show Sandstorm Games. <laughs> this month, we're digging in, so you guys are going to face some sandy challenges. Do we have to eat sand? These are some unpredictable games, Christina. Now, let's unearth the stakes of our little challenge. Okay, but does the winner at least get a trophy? Oh, even better. The winner of each challenge will get to enter the Room of Doom. That sounds like a punishment. Has that always been here? <laughs> Inside the Room of Doom are some treasures and some pitfalls. The winner of each challenge will get to pick an item for their treasure chest and an item for their partner's treasure chest. At the end of all of our challenges, each one will receive a treasure chest of delights. I love treasure, let's do this. Hold your horses. After our break, we will uncover our first little challenge of the Loop Show Sandstorm Games. Come join me on a walk. I love walking because I love being in the sun. I love hearing the birds and the insects. I love the feel of the street and I love just being able to just take a stroll. So what is discipleship? It's being one of Jesus's close friends, someone close to him who walks with him and goes on a journey with him. And the first choice you make with Jesus is a big one. Walking with him long-term to have him be part of your life. But it's not the only step. There's so much more that Jesus wants for you. If we only took the first step, it would be like being on a team and never going to the games or never going to the practices. It'd be kind of weird, but being a disciple means being one of Jesus' close friends. It means going on this journey with him taking a stroll. He has so much more for us. He wants us to live with generosity. He wants us to have close friends and to be kind and to have a life that is so full. So how do we make the habits of Jesus our habits? Well, we dig in. Dusty Dilemma, we've got a sandy race. One at a time, you will each start at that red tub of sand and get to digging. You will dig for an item which will indicate which tub you will go to next. Once you find that item, you go to your next tub and get to digging. Important, you are not allowed, I repeat, you are not allowed to dump your sand tub over. If you dump your sand tub over, it is immediate disqualification. Got it? Got it. The person who completes the challenge in the best time gets to choose a treasure from the room of doom. Are you ready? Ready. All right, to see who goes first, we're flipping the sand dollar. Wait, 
Christina. No. <laughs> Ricky, get out of here. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay, ready? Go. <gasps> what am I looking for? Oh, it's, there's nothing here. Come on, you got it, you got it. There's nothing here, Go Tanya. Go faster. Go faster. I can't find anything. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, I think I found something. Oh, oh. oh, yellow ducky. Go, go, go. The sand is so nice. You've got a good strategy going with the. Yeah, do you like yeah, it? Yeah. I think I found something. Oh, oh. No, it's a rock. Oh gosh. <sighs> oh, it's something squishy. Oh. 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 Uh. Uh. Is that from your room of doom? Oh no, I'm gonna lose. I can't find anything. I'm trying, oh, Tanya. Gosh, you're doing great. You're doing, just go faster. You know, I'm but trying. I mean, hey, There's... you're the pace setter. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 stop it. You can't make me cheat. I... Good job, good job, good job, good job. Oh, oh, oh. That what was is like this? a record for what each is one. This is blue or good purple? Good job, good job, good job. Good tell. Turn. Oh boy. Oh, I think I, is that, uh, it's another rock. <laughs> Sandy challenge. Be quiet, Tanya. Oh, oh, oh. She's getting sassy. Well, I'm getting sandy. I mean, you know I make the rules. I can totally disqualify you if you get sandy. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, three you made this another rock. Counting. Did you keep throwing you back that rock? You just dug and quit talking to me. You might do really good. And that thing's kind coming of up. like you're looking for gold or like well, treasure. I, know. I just totally connected the whole thing. You just look like you're getting hot, so. I am, thank you. Go, 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 go. Are you sure you didn't find something? I found rocks. Did you not put something in this one? Because there's nothing in here. Did I find it? <laughs> Stop it, you did nothing. I'm just happy, 544. Good job, good job. Oh, that scared me. Crying out loud. How many are left? Told you I could have gone to that blue one. Nobody would have known, Tanya. Nobody would have known. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh. Ah! oh do I put it in here? Yay! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Six, ten. Oh, <laughs> it's terrible. Great. Good job. Way to go, girl. Thank you. Yeah. Ricky's up next. <sighs> the children remember to walk on the sidewalk and to be alert and careful all the time. You know, it's not enough just to keep your eyes open. You must keep your ears open too. You must watch and listen. A blind spot. Here the children cannot see around the corner. They remember to be especially careful. So I've never been on this trail before. I don't really know where we're going, but we're just gonna keep going this way. Sometimes being a disciple can be kind of difficult. It's a lot of choices, hard choices and big choices. I love playing volleyball and I grew up playing volleyball my whole life with the plan to go play volleyball in college. After I made my first big choice of following Jesus, I made the decision and I felt led by God not to go to college and play volleyball, but to go to a school and learn more about Jesus and more about being a disciple. And it was a really hard choice. You know, it was what we had always planned to do. It really didn't make a lot of sense to the coaches, my mom, my family, but it was something that I felt really, really good about. It was a hard choice but I still thought it was a good choice. Again, being a disciple can be really hard, filled with so many choices. And I still have to make so many choices in my walk with Jesus. And I don't always get it right. But what I love about going on a walk with Jesus is that He doesn't ask us to be perfect and He doesn't ask us to get it right every time. 
All he asks us to do is walk with him. I think we're headed in the right direction now. Ricky! Hello! Hello. Are you ready? Ready. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. Ready? Hey, go. What am I looking for? One second. Two. What? Three Don't seconds. Keep counting. Four seconds. Five seconds. <laughs> Ooh. Oh! Whoa! Okay. That was twelve seconds. All right, where are we going to next? Uh, this place, maybe? Okay. Yeah. You it's can't so be. Cute. This can't be it, right? No. No. Okay. That's part of the tub. Am I gonna help you the whole time? You're helping? Uh. <laughs> Just more sand. More sand. Uh. Sandy. It's a sandy challenge. A sandy race. Uh. Oh. Uh. E oh. Woo. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm trying. Okay. Hands are so dry. Yeah. Ooh. Did you moisturize this morning? I did. Yeah. Purple. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's not it. Just, just more, I'm gonna hang just out more here. solid rocks. Just gonna hang out here. A lot of rocks in You this tell one. me when you're ready. So many rocks. Are you still here? Okay. I am. Do you wanna know hey. how you're doing? Um, we're little blue baby. Oh, blue baby. Blue baby. Blue baby. Blue baby. Ooh, blue. Wow! Oh, why? Oh, okay, okay, okay! He doesn't want an update. I asked him, he oh, ignored me. Oh, update, I guess. Okay, two minutes, 30 seconds. Okay. Oh, I don't... Did you... No, I brought JK, that. JK, JK. Oh, here we go. Oh! Is that it? Put it in. Good job! Yeah. 246! No, uh, 246! <laughs> ah, the shade is nice. With Jesus, there's so much more to learn, more to uncover. It's not always going to be easy being a disciple, but it is simple. It's just following where Jesus is going, step by step, digging in. First decision was a big one, and now you dig in and you follow. So I'm gonna keep going, but thanks for coming on the walk with me. When it comes to the Loop Show Sandstorm Games, <laughs> only one victor stands tall in this oasis. For this first challenge, Christina went first mm -hmm. and completed the challenge in a time of six minutes and 10 seconds. Ricky finished in two minutes and 46 seconds. Yes. Ricky is our victor. You get to enter the room of doom. <laughs> All right, Hi. here we go. Good luck, man. Okay. Have fun in there. Ha. Ah. Fast food friends, squishy cola, squishy burger, squishy fries. And this is slime sand. Putting this in here, and this in here. I'm hoping neither one of these are things we have to eat. It, it, it's doomy, but it balances, you know? I hope you guys have a good vacuum because it's getting really sandy in here. Oh. The games go on, and so does our journey in following Jesus. Are you walking with Jesus? Are you watching where he goes and following where he leads? Dig in to what Jesus teaches. And until next time, enjoy, enjoy the ride! ride! This is not the first time that Tanya has joined us here for the Loop Show Games. Oh. We have done the Creativity Games, which was a lot of fun. The Golden Lobster? Yes. Golden awesome. Lobster? Yes. I thought they were red. Not this one. Not I this wish one. you were there. It was it was fun. Aw. Yeah, it was Check it out. real Thanks. creativity put into the challenge. Check out the video and subscribe for more.